Saturday afternoon, 12 something, 12.31 p.m. What is it? Uh, September 7th? 7th or 8th? Let's look. another gear going here get some speed rolling up uh, temperature is about I don't know 70 something degrees can't see 20 so it's 70 degrees not bad but So we're headed up here to Tim Hortons in Simcoe, one of the three. Uh, we're going for a ride with one of my work buddies. So he rides a Indian motorcycle. It's about a year old, I think. He's had it, maybe got it in the spring, so it's maybe not even a year old, but. I believe he's already got another one on order, a bigger one, a little bit better, so... But I believe that they're keeping this bike. The boys, his sons, they're all getting their license, so... There'll be more, uh, more riders in the family, so that's cool. So, all summer we've been talking, yeah, we gotta go for a ride, blah, 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 blah. So, today's the day. So, I, I probably would have gone a little earlier, just so that, you know, we could get more places and see more things, but I believe he was a little bit worried about the temperature, because it was a little cool yesterday for riding, like, you if I'd have known as cold as it was going to be when I left home, I probably would have brought my heated jacket just to plug in and be comfortable. But I don't need it today. It's a little warmer today than it was yesterday. So we'll, uh, we'll be okay for today. But I think he was a little worried that it was going to be cool. So he kind of scheduled us for a little in the warmer hours of the afternoon, I think is what the plan was, so. So yeah, we're going up here to meet up with them. Uh, and I guess we'll do introductions then. So until then, we'll shut everything down and uh, our batteries charge and all that nice stuff um, just editing the trip to Kingston right now I've got three in the can right now that I haven't finished um, I've got VAM 2023 um, I think I'm on the third I've I posted the first day's ride down to VAM, but I haven't posted getting to VAM or at VAM, so we'll uh, we'll uh, get those into the into the works again. They're all partially done. The thing you have to understand with the Jarvis Biker video is. Any of those big long trips, basically we turned the cameras on and we left them on for 10 hours. We filled the chip and then I uploaded them, saved them, 
and got ready for the next day and so all of those rides take an extremely long time to edit unless you just cut out everything but you have to systematically go through and okay so VAM was in July it's now August September two months pretty well a full two months later and now I got to remember every little incident that happened on every ride to make sure that I capture them it's not like I came home that night and, and started editing and knew oh yeah like two hours in we saw a deer or whatever I gotta watch the 10 hours and then edit accordingly so I have to kind of refresh my memory on the on the rides so you do that a couple of times through the editing process and trying to put music or anything to it and have it timed out that everything looks professionally done or as much as I can do it takes a while so be patient we got some good video coming all right we'll come back bye bye Hi. How's she going? Yeah. Yeah, we got to pair her up, so. Start grouping. I got another one in here. We can switch. I got one in here. I got a spare, so we, it's fully charged. All right. Just turn your head, and I'll turn you on. Are you going? Is it's it going. running? I right, think it's just, going. All right, just let it go. Don't do anything. Grouping success. There you are. <laughs> All right, buddy. Yeah. So now we just wait a second for mine to stop here. So it's still thinking. So I got this one hooks to this camera, right? So anything you say goes on the video. All right. I'll so be don't. What I say then. Anything you say can and will be used. <laughs> so we can either go like up the lake, Port Stanley way, or we can go out like Nixon Road and take. There's a few twisties out that way, but not much. Any way we go this way, it's all pretty much straight, except for right along the lake. Whatever you think, I'm, I'm happy to go wherever you think. All right. all right. I think we'll try going out the lake just to see okay. how it turns out. There's a cop part in the car park at the uh, the Petro Canada station. Just waiting for people coming along here, eh? Yeah. Yeah, he, was for sure. he was watching me when I was putting gas on my bike. <laughs> Most of the time, they're just looking at the bike. I've been pulled over for before just so they could look at my bike. Oh. This one and like years ago, I had a guy in Hamilton pull me over once for... For, uh... Yeah, he wanted to look at my bike. So... Off we go. So we're going to go left here at the lights. Okay. turn and I'm gonna wait and see. Yeah, it looks like it's done on it here. Yeah. We'll get going, but oh nice. Drag that one out. Holy crap. Three people yeah. could have been around that light. My god, was that the way the day is gonna go? So a little bit cooler yesterday, Keith. 
Yeah, it's cool today. Not bad today. It was real cool yesterday. I didn't wear this yesterday and I was wishing I'd brought it. So I was almost wishing I put my heated jacket in the trunk. I would have probably put it on. So I stayed out for a few hours, right? So yeah. Yeah, it was raining this morning in Caledonia. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Tis the season. We've had no no shortage of rain this year. Yeah, I know. We've never ever had grass that dried out like it's been green, lush looking all year long. Maybe speed up a bit now. Hopefully, yeah. down the hill right into the downtown there's a there's a lift bridge we're gonna go over that it's about a lift bridge place as well huh? red light traffic lights yeah it's a big place Stiff. different eating places here. I've never been in there. It's usually fairly busy, but it's a little more expensive, I think. Yeah. This place used to be good. Then right. it closed. It closed through COVID. I don't know if it's the same people or not, but it was really good before. But yeah, COVID killed a lot of places off, huh? All right. Here's your driver's test. Good lord. Drives over the curb. Missed the driveway completely. Good god. Left turn. And it's a right turn up here at that green sign. Right. So this place here, the Barnacle, it's usually got music going all the time. Well, they're all closed up. They got the fence up and everything. It's this one. Yeah, this one. They usually have music too. In there. Yeah. on the beach. 
still packed. Yep. Okay, so out. just looking to see what kind of maneuvers we got to make here. Yeah, get out of the way, buddy. <laughs> Guys are eating the freaking way. Okay, watch going through here. Okay. Looks like they got her fixed up a little bit. Watch the sand. Yep. Yeah, I'm not fond of the sand or the gravel. No. This bike's got heated grips as well. Keep What's your that? hands. It's got heated hand grips too. Yeah, I'm I'm getting heated hand grips on this new one as well. Yeah. Yeah, that that's a, a must. Like I was driving this bike last October, my hands were freezing. Yeah. So what's the new one that you're getting? What what model is it? What is it? It's a Chief. Indian Chief. Uh, sometimes you have a hell of a time getting into the place. But that's, uh, they got like a patio. There's a... Uh, Guy's got a business, sea do business there. You can take rent sea dues and take them out in the lake, right, right. next to it. But the, that restaurant's really good. They're friends of ours. We go there all the time. Kind the food to the cell. Well, just like we had up at Port Stanley, same same deal, only better. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's Turkey Point. Yeah. Second Sandbar is a sandbar restaurant. It's the name of that place. Yeah. It's good. It's good. This is this is quite close to Simcoe as well, eh? Yes. Yeah, you're right. Right near. It. So we're back on Front Road again. back on. Should have had it on for the beach. Yeah. Normandale. Yeah. 
So back over a hundred years ago, there used to be Normandale Furnace uh, Company, and they made wood stoves and wood furnaces. They had over 400 employees, and there's no remnants of any of the buildings left. They're all gone. Was, uh, but quite an opera, like back in the 1700s to have 400 employees, that was like massive. Fat boy action. Now I would take you down here, Spooky Hollow Road. So the road goes down and it's almost like a tunnel of trees down and around. Right. But I want to go this way so we won't do it. But yeah. if you're ever back, take Spooky Hollow down. Okay. It's kind of, it's just a tunnel, it's dark. You got to have headlights on to see it in the middle of the day. This is Fisher's Glen, another little village. Right. Cute little hairpin at the end of this. Lots of gravel. That's the thing, when it rains on these hills, it washes it all down to the bottom. Yep. Yeah, that's heat gravel. But a couple of sketchy moments were gravel. Yeah. Saw that lady at the TSC store in Simcoe yesterday. That lady walking there. They were looking for darts. They wanted, like, professional grade darts. Right. Little switch back for you. This is all road that we missed when we went past it on the highway out of Simcoe. We're just catching up on it. Still front road, sign's still the same, so. Right. You coming the other way, there's a pothole right there. Uh oh, yeah, that's a big one. Yeah. And you can't see it till you're right on it. And you forget about it and it's it's always there. And you'll see a lot of deer on this road in this area. We had three of them standing right up here, just right where these yellow flowers are. There, there's three deer walked right through here, right in front of us. We were in our car the one night coming back from Sandbar. I don't know how where they come out of, but they're coming this way and back. So they must go down to the water and then come back. Yeah, we're coming up into Port Ryersea now. All these little port towns all the way along, all along the side of the lake.
Got some big mansions up here. Nice. Guy bought this excavator that's sitting down here and all he did was dig the driveway and then he parked it that sat there rotten in the sun ever since. And it's not a bad machine either. Taking a sharp right up here. Right at the end of the guardrail. Yep. Oh, we got Bouncy Castle. You want to go? <laughs> Never tried this, but it's very busy, so I think it's pretty good. I haven't been able to talk Linda into going to it, so. Fork in the road. Yeah. <laughs> Some ponies. Ah. Yeah, you're good. One more thing on the tour and then I'll take you home. Alright. Well, windmills are turning. People are starting to turn on the lights. They need some yeah. power. <laughs> Anytime you're on this road, watch these side roads. More bikers killed. People pulling out on this road right here. Oh yeah. A couple, two, three a year. Oh, I know where we are. Blue light. Yeah, that's bad. This road's bad. Down the other way, down at the end of this piece. Yeah. It's always bad accidents. On Friday the 13th, they usually kill one every year. After this car. Stretching her legs a little. Well, did you enjoy your tour? Yeah, it's been great. Yeah, nice roads. Yeah. I have everything. Yeah, 
I go a little farther, you see a lot more, you know. Get the new bike, you'll be able to go a little bit farther, so. Yeah. Just, just keep uh, farther, farther. Like where, for me, we've covered all this. We can go out for the whole day and be back. But we can't get any farther unless we go stay farther out. That's why we had the trailer. Yeah. So that, so that we could be farther away and then go farther, right? So. Yeah. I mean, we parked the trailer in Woodstock and then we went to Grand Bend for the afternoon. Around through Sarnia and back home, back to the trailer. It was awesome. We were able to go see all that and tour around where if you came from here, you can still go to Grand Bend and back, but it's like you're all day just going there and straight back. No, yep. to, no touring around. Like we went and visited my friend, stayed at his place for a couple hours, shooting the shit with him, and then then came back to the trailer, you know? So it was, that's the, You know, we've been touring this area all up through here, all the way down to Niagara, north, west, northwest. Yep. We've been all over, like it's, yeah. Yeah, we've, uh, we've never, never really went the way we went today. It's always more towards Dover or yeah. Dunville or that way, right? Yeah. Well, that's okay for touring on the shore road. Yep. But, just watch that guy's coming, eh? Get on it. Yep.